You may have noticed that at the beginning of my YouTube videos, I have a beaker that's inverted before I light it up. But the question is, why do I light it up inverted? Why don't I light it up right side up? And it has to do with the fact that hydrogen is a very light gas. In fact, it's the first element on the periodic table. So if you were to compare hydrogen with all the other gases out there, such as nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and argon gas, well, it is the lightest of them all, and as a result, all the heavier gases will push down on it, and it's forced to go up. Very similar to what you'd see in bubble tea, or in my case, uh, bubble marbles. Because the density of marbles is greater than the density of this sugary drink, the marbles end up sinking to the bottom, pushing the less dense substance up higher. In fact, that's what's happening in the test tube as well. When I fill up the test tube with hydrogen, hydrogen being a very light gas, it actually has a tendency of floating up because of all the heavier gases pushing downwards in the environment. So that's how it remains stuck inside the test tube, and that's why I can wave it around before I light it up. In grade school, you may have performed this very exciting demo where you have vinegar and you pour baking soda into the vinegar and you watch and observe as a gas is being created. And in high school, you've learned that this gas that we're creating right now is carbon dioxide. Now, carbon dioxide is actually a gas that's more dense than regular atmospheric air. In other words, all that carbon dioxide is actually staying inside the cup right now. So I can actually pour this invisible carbon dioxide into a separate beaker and fill it up with carbon dioxide. And I know it's very difficult to perceive that carbon dioxide is actually inside the speaker right now. But we also may have learned back in elementary school that carbon dioxide is excellent at taking out fire. And there you have it, science at work. Until our next adventure. and you would pour some sodium bicarbonate into the vinegar. <laughs> and that's why there's always retakes.